ladder. Okay. Oh go. my god. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This is from Victoria Stroh. I would like to know how you two got together. She looks like a ginger, and I've always had the insecurity that I don't know, Asians don't like gingers. It may just be me. Is there like a thing that like- I never Asians, heard of this stereotype. Because, I, if anything, I feel like people like redheads. I love redheads. I feel like redheads is a thing. Especially among like guys liking redheads. If anything, it is a thing about people not liking Asian guys. I get stopped yeah. on the street for my hair color more than you do. This actually relates to a theory I have. A big reason why people like certain types of people like redheads, you know, whatever people like, is because they're kind of brought up to like it. For instance, people imagine that they want to meet Prince Charming one day. Every girl wants to meet a Prince Charming. Why do you think that? What do little girls and little kids watch well, when they're younger? Well, obviously all the Disney movies that I watch. All watched, the Disney movies. Exemplified Prince Charming as the perfect man. From from Cinderella, from Sleeping Beauty. And they all look pretty much the same. They all look like boy band members. It's like Saxon, all American. All, they have the all American. Like, like they would probably be Abercrombie models. And so men that look like Prince Charming have these specific Prince Charming features. Let's call them charms. Okay. All right, so a lot of these guys have a lot of charms. How many charms do do Asian people have? Asian guys. We all know that. I always really like Shang from Mulan, so we have one. One. There is one. Meanwhile, for redheads, we got the Little oh, Mermaid. Mermaid. We have I Love Lucy. We have Misty from Pokemon. The redheads in Game of Thrones. Jessica Rabbit. Jessica Rabbit. Yeah, Julia Red Roberts. Hair. Scarlett Johansson has red hair. People are always like. Hey. Emma Stone. Ron Weasley, the Weasleys. Who doesn't love Ron Weasley? Harry Potter ends up with Ginny. Weasley? Ginger. ginger. If you're a ginger, I think you're pretty good. <laughs> Victoria, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Gingers make it very far in life. This question is from Debor. Did your, Mike, parents immediately approve of your relationship? Or were they a bit apprehensive about it? Or was it never a settled thing that you had to get an Asian girl? Smiley face. I think this would be an interesting question to ask you. Well, oh, my parents care? Yeah. They really didn't care. I think one time somebody in my family asked if your family celebrates Christmas because mm -hmm. they weren't sure what you would celebrate. It was more like, oh, she has a first college boyfriend. <laughs> I think the thing with my family was not uh, apprehensive in that stereotypical, oh, she's a white girl and stay away from her. I remember my mom asking me like, oh, did, did... she asked me too. Oh, she, she asked yeah, me, yeah. She, she asked me like very serious one day. She was like, Nicole, are your parents okay with Mike being Asian? And I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> are, what? And she said that she had been very worried when she was dating your dad mm -hmm. that her parents wouldn't be okay with him being Chinese because she was Korean. And I was like, oh, we don't care that much. For the reason you're asking this question, it's all these like rumors of like, oh my gosh, people yeah. don't like it, people don't like it. Meanwhile, in actuality, people are cool with it. Yeah, I mean, I have Hispanic cousins. Everyone's just like, okay, fine. Mm -hmm. So like my mom's doubt only came from these rumors and the gossip of like, ooh, maybe they don't like Asians or ooh, yeah. maybe they don't like white people. Well, apparently my great grandma was unsure if my mom should marry my dad because she wasn't Catholic. And she wasn't Italian. She was like, what? But she also was born in like 1912. My mom actually told me that she will love whoever loves me. So there was no, no one ever established that I had to get any particular race of a girlfriend or that wasn't like an important thing. But my parents love her a lot. Like to the point where, I don't know if I tell you this, I get in trouble when I show up without you sometimes. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I didn't know that actually. They're, they're, they're like, I genuinely did not know that. When, whenever I come to like family functions now, they're like, where's Nicole? And I'm like, oh, did we invite her? And he's like, she's always invited, Michael. Well, See, I, I always think I'm intruding too, because he's always like, oh, want to come to dinner? And I'm like, I don't want to intrude on family time. But I mean, I found out last year, that the birthday card that I made for his dad made it to like the birthday wall of fame where he keeps all of their cards too. My so. parents are into cards and she is into making cards so it's just like... Major points. <laughs> Again, it's the complete opposite of what I, I think the stereotype would be. I think the stereotype would be like, oh, no, not in our race. Not my race, not my... Not my problem. Not my problem. Not my chair, not my problem. <laughs>